All right, uh, so I need to add to my uh, robot here, my uh, rover. Um, so I have it going forwards and backwards and turning. Um, I think the next step would be some collision avoidance. Um, yeah, I'm basing this off of the uh, Mars rover um, Sojourner. Um, it had collision avoidance a couple ways. It had a um, an actual mechanical bar in front with some micro switches, so if it hit anything, it would stop. Um, but in general, what it did was it had LEDs on the front of the chassis that that actually um, were line generator um, lasers, and they could project a, a grid. There were many many. Uh, I think it was four, four, five. I don't remember now. I have to look at the pictures. Um, there, there were multiple lasers on the front of the rover that cast uh, lines on the uh, on the ground, and they had grid lines and they had uh, uh, crossing lines so they could detect how far away objects were and stuff. And they used their cameras to look at those lines, and they kind of got a three dimensional map of where they were going, and then they would. Uh, kind of clear that space and say, okay, it's it's safe to move uh, three feet, so we'll move three feet and stop, and then we'll take another picture and see where we are. Um, but since this is kind of a live rover, I thought I'd use um, a uh, uh, some more classical robotic things. Um, so these are, um, uh, let's see here, these are ultrasonic uh, distance sensors. Can get that more of a focus. There we go. And um, they're an emitter, emitter detector. They send out ultrasonic waves, and uh, you give them a pulse to send out a ping, and then a, the return ping. Uh, the distance away is represented as a length of a pulse. So the longer the pulse, the farther away it is. The shorter the pulse, the nearer, nearer, nearer it is. And uh, these things are incredibly cheap. They're 75 cents free shipping on eBay. Um, just in, insane. They have a whole bunch of circuitry on the back. 75 cents, I mean, uh, <laughs> must have fallen off a truck somewhere anyway. But anyway, 75 cents for those. Um, and I thought before I put it on the rover, I would uh, uh, build up a little uh, circuit here with an Arduino Nano and a display. And uh, I've never used one of these ultrasonic... Uh, distance sensors before, so I thought I'd write a little program and, and get it working and uh, see what it's all about. So uh, let's go ahead and um, uh, put the, uh, let's see, where are we here? We want to have this guy. Let's see, I just took him off. Here he goes. He goes right here. There we go. So there's a uh, Four wires here, um, power ground, uh, pulse and return. There's four, oops, four wires for the, uh, uh, the, the OLED display, power ground, and uh, clock and data. Uh, this is an I, wired up as I squared C, so it uses the I squared C pins. So we, we're really only using uh, two lines of I squared C and two lines of uh, data off the uh, off the nano so pretty easy little pretty easy little socket let's let's go ahead and uh, I already have the program in here let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and play with it all right here we go uh, so let's apply some power so um, the Arduino Nano um, can receive power a number of different ways you can put power in uh, via the USB port 5 volts you can apply 5 volts to the 5 volt pin it also has a 5 volt regulator, so you can input something bigger than, uh, say, 7 volts, and it will regulate it down to 5. You need a little bit of room on those regulators. You, you can't put in 5 volts in the regulator. It needs some dropping voltage, uh, probably 1.5 volts or something like that over the 5 volts, but I usually put in about 7 volts. So I've got the power supply set to 7.5 volts, and I'll put it in the VN pin. The VN pin is the thing that goes to the... Um, uh, five volt regulator on the uh, on the nano, and uh, so you can see here we're uh, um, displaying uh, ping, and it says 38 centimeters. Now there's already uh, libraries for this particular uh, sensor, and it, it you you give it uh, a go, and then it returns a um, 
uh, a value in centimeters. And so this is 38 centimeters. And if we put an object closer, uh, now it's saying uh, 5 centimeters, which would be, um, yeah, that's about right. Let's see here. Let's measure, measure how many centimeters we have. We have 5 centimeters. Awesome. Put it back. Well, it says, uh, it says 12, and we're at 100. So we're at we're at ten we're at ten centimeters here. I don't know if it's seeing the entire object. Let's see here. Let's go to hundred centimeters. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's accurate enough for a collision avoidance thing. Um, I saw somebody online say that they're sensitive to humidity, and you can put a humidity sensor on your circuit and calibrate it and everything. It seems like way more work than I need it for. Uh, but if we go very, very close, here's three centimeters, uh, and uh, yeah, so if you're very, very close, it will read, here we go, two centimeters away. And yeah, we're back to uh, 30 centimeters, and if we point it kind of up to the sky, um, 50 centimeters, 80 centimeters, yeah. So it's working really good. It's a simple little program, and um, so I'll have to add that to my uh, my rover code and put in some collision avoidance. Maybe I'll have it go forward, and if it sees something, have it back up and turn right, and then continue on and see if it can wander around a bit, kind of like a a Roomba vacuum cleaner.